Yeah, there we go. Funny story, it wasn't the internet. <laughs> it wasn't the internet that time. There's no sound at all? Oh, there it is, okay. So there, it wasn't the internet that time. I can actually say, it wasn't Comcast, it was my computer. My computer was like, it just like glitched out and was like, there's no memory. No, 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 truly. Everything else was fine. I, like, it's, it's crazy. I can't blame Comcast for that. I just gotta blame this. We can all hate on Comcast. I, I, there's plenty of reasons most of the time, but... This wasn't on them. Yeah, it, it's fun to blame them. Again, can I just say you all the best? You hang in there through thick and thin. <laughs> it's great. Okay, let's do this. Good grief. <laughs> hey, it was a quick return though, wasn't it? That was pretty good. But they fixed it. Let's get let's get to it. Okay, back to it. Okay, so one of my favorite Easter eggs in the whole game is right over here. Oh, you were the veteran FF14 player in uh the PC. Wow, that's good. Okay, here it is, here it is. You ready? When I found this, I lost my mind. Do you know who this is? This is the merchant that you met over in um the uh in the desert, and he's been like dreaming about all of the things that he's traveling into and stuff. This is the merchant. He is a dead heap over here. Um, and you know it because he was on his way to treasure, and it's based on this item right here. So we inspect the item. And so this item that we just picked up, let's go ahead and look at it. Um, Treasure map. This is what it is. A crudely drawn map in whose margin is scrawled the message. To all who would seek to mint gill, follow ye the path to Kretov. So this guy, in his pursuit of treasure, uh, it cost him his life. Hey, William, what's up? Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. How cool is that? Um, I mean, it's tragic, right? But this is the merchant and uh, kind of just lets us know... The end of his story. This is a totally missable thing, right? Totally missable thing looking for, for treasure. And, you know, if you don't see this your first run, then uh, you just kind of wonder whatever happened to him. And this is the Chocobo that was with him as well. I got the map and never uh, made the connection. Yeah, it's beautiful um, environmental storytelling. Tragic, like I said. Okay, let's... Uh Let's head on up to the gates. Rip to a homie for real, though. Alright. That reset was exactly what I needed. That's your cool 100k gill. Yeah, it does. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but... <laughs> Isn't he in the Kashyyyk Chocobo? I'm pretty sure he was, right? Oh, it's just re oh man, I'm a killer. My bad. My bad. Just like this is a kind dog. Joshua, do something. Thank you. I think it was a cash trick. Hey, we leveled up. Good news. We're still grossly under leveled, but speaking of chocobos, why are we walking? Might have been a raptor, you're right. We're gonna say it, we're gonna say it shot first. Like Han Solo. Before the uh, stream gave out, uh oh, it's time to fight. I saw somebody was talking about Leviathan. Yeah, we haven't really talked about Leviathan. That'll probably be something for maybe our next stream. I think that we've only got one or two streams left.
forget about riding chocobos. I'm telling you, chocobos are for eating. Joshua's doing his best. He has a bad cough. We're going to give him a break. I know, right? I, I hope that we find out something from the Game Awards, but I bet we won't. New enemies. Let's go. There we go. I would love more playable characters. It is so weird to me that they played um, they played with Joshua as a playable character at the beginning, like young Joshua, and just nothing ever came of that, right? It's got to be some DLC, I think. They've already got the model, so I'm thinking that we're probably going to see a young Joshua being nursed back to help, and you play as him. That would be one of them, I think. Isn't that the truth? Square Enix Marketing does know how to bo uh, drop balls, but they've been doing pretty good lately. I gotta give them credit. What if they did episode DLCs like they did in 15? I'd be down for that to a degree. Um, what's up, lady experiment? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I already said hello to you. My bad. But you can always say hello again, right? Okay, here we go. Can you go on? I have a choice. Let's go ahead and use this. Oh, man. I'm going slow with this limit break. Dang. Get it. I think it's going to be Joshua and Dion based on the voice actors. They had the panel at PAX when they announced the DLC. Really? Hey, I, you know I'd be down for that. I love Dion. I love Joshua, too. I really want some Jill, though. Like, I, I feel like we... Uh, could use some Jill. I'm gonna have to go back and um, re-edit all of these streams so that they're cohesive and we don't have like part one, two, and three every time my stream dropped. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Hoven, what's up? We were talking about Midnight Mass earlier. I mentioned you and how much you like that show. Oh, crap! Oh, man, I got distracted by the chat. Hoven, I'm blaming you for that one. <laughs> chat does kill. I just get so excited. I get so excited to talk to people. <laughs> Crap! They at least gave me more potions, at least. That's good. Appreciate the Jill Clank. Accept the Jill Clank. Yes. I know you effing love that show. That's why I was excited to share it with you. <laughs> share the people in this chat like it. Jill is great, Racy. She is. What's not great is the amount of struggling I'm doing right now.
It's all for us, baby. Ultima knows. Ultima knows what we're made of. You're writing a paper video or making a video essay? Interesting. That'd be cool. Jill's milkshake brings all the cats to the front door. Jill's milk clank, you mean. Clive and Joshua are catching up, you see. They've missed each other. This is their catch-up stream. Oh, that stupid chocobo. This is why we kill those guys. Oh my goodness. Torgle, get one of them. Just another Taco Tuesday for the boys. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. You just got done watching the Muppets? Why were you watching the Muppets? Here in the year of our Lord, 2023. <laughs> no, do not let him do it to us. I hate these guys. I hate these guys so bad. Yeah, there we go. Oh, let's destroy this guy. The Street Fighter movies were not bad. How can you say that? It has Jean-Claude Van Damme in it. Year of Our Realm 2023. That could have gone better. Again, professional over here. Oh, crap. I thought we were done. Rainbow Connection? Oh, my gosh. Are you in grad school? Kylie Minogue was in Street Fighter. Was she really? Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh no. Okay, listen, camera, I need you to work with me here. This is horrible. Come on. Do this, do this. There we go. Woo! Struggle stream, struggle stream. We know we love it. Ah, oh, you jerk. I can describe the plot to the Street Fighter movies. Not while I'm streaming. <laughs> they fight on the streets. 
No, I don't. I've got the stupid, um, level up things. There we go. M. Bison is threatening nuclear war on, um, on the world, right? And, uh, whew. so in the midst of that, they call on America, led by Guile, played by Jean-Claude Van Damme, to go and take down this nuclear threat to the world. America. Back in the good old days. America. Do not like, do not like. Oh, Al, that was not happy. Woo! Oh, no, you don't. This is awful. Uh, yeah, his rant at the end, always so good. Bison had hostages. Yeah, but he had nuclear weapons, too. Back up! Oh my gosh, that could have been really bad. My gosh, this is this. Blah. I am not doing any damage. Oh crap, I did it too soon. Dang it. Dodge! Oh! Back up, back up, back up, back up! Don't, don't do it! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Again, oh my gosh, this is awful. <laughs> Dang it! You know what I need? I need potions. <laughs> I need potions. <laughs> oh, man. Back here? Oh, I'm going to murder these guys. I know. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's going to be a long one tonight. My dog just barked. Yeah. Because I try to save the semi-priming for the, uh, the staggers. But we don't need to, it seems. Okay, turn it around, Clive. Go, Torgal, do something. Look at him just suspended in air there. Oh, 
Oh, we're all excited for Torgal Tuesday, you see. Oh, crap. Get away from that. Okay, this guy. Go. Uh -oh. Okay, we're gonna do this. My Icelandic queen. Yeah. Over here, then. Come on, Torkoal, let's go. Torgal is better than tacos. It's for us. I can eat a taco right now, though. He's made nothing easy so far. Okay, let's get everybody around us. Good. Puts the potions in the basket. That is not what I've done. That's not what I've done. We are perpetually playing on hard mode with no potions. I would not eat a Torgal. If it came to it, even then. Joshua, can you go on? Do I have a choice? Crap, I missed the one guy. There we go. Oh, we love this. No potion builds character through death, repeated death. Fortunately, with the power of the Phoenix, I wish the Phoenix would heal me, but whatever. No, not Silence of the Torgals. Yeah, you are insane, some dude. Good lord. Uh, I know what movie you're referencing, Jeffrey. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again, right? <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Oh man, we did way better that time. Let Torgal speak. Speak, boy. Okay. Here we go. Okay, that's enough. Enough parading around. Let's do this. Joshua. This one's bigger than the others. Oh yeah, here we go. We got it this time. We got it this time. We can't get cocky. I'm the most humble person that ever lived, remember? Yeah. Me and Moses and John the Apostle, the three most humble people that ever lived. Fire! The humble trinity. Prof Noctis, Moses, and John. Yeah, there we go. The Wanderer, the Disciple, and the Holy Prof. Prof or Professional. Uh. 
Look at us chipping away at that stagger bar here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. A thing of beauty it was. Oh, dodge that. Oh my gosh, that's death and a half. That's also death and a half. Woo, you jerk. Don't do it, don't let him do it! We're just gonna spam it, hopefully he doesn't blow up on us. There it is, yeah, we did it. Oh yeah. Oh, it is over. It is over! Except it's not. It's not over, so we're not quite done yet. That's what I call getting canceled. Good one, lady. Got him! That's what I'm talking about. As much as I love Ben Starr, towards the end of the game, his grunts really start to sound like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Joshua, you're sick. You're coughing up blood. <sighs> what a battle. Wolf. Look, Clive. I have found her. The place is a fortress. Mm. Let's do it. Gosh, I love this part so much. I love it. Can't jump over the side, apparently. What are we doing? Walking like a bunch of idiots. Let's go. Fly Ambrosia. No villagers. No knights. Not even any bodies. There it is, everybody. The whole kingdom had turned to Kashek. We. I just love this moody aura here. Because you can see, I mean, this is this is the land, the location, fortified by walls, completely subservient to Barnabas, right? And, like, we see just the effects of that. There's not a lot of life happening here. And that's such a New Testament philosophy, that the law does not bring life, it brings death. Instead, there's this element of grace that's needed because people cannot live under that heavy law. Um, and this is the this is such a great visual representation of that. Going back to the previous conversation about death and funerals and stuff, we're gonna finish up that quest really quick. All right, death quest, yay, here we go. So, uh, giving this guy some solace by burying his ring at his parents' grave. He'll be able to see all the way to stone here. Hmm. Find a resting place as any man could hope for. Reunited with those he loves at last. Mm. Yeah, so just kind of a, a nice ending. Um, it's, it's not much, but it is something that's like just sweet, right? You can read it. It's got his parents' names. 
um, buried the bodies of Nut and beloved wife Brita, who departed this life in the 24th year of reverie. Mm. Just a good dude, right? Um, and, and again, I mean, <laughs> his whole deal is life and death on your own terms. Oh, you cannot jump down there as I was anticipating. For shame. You can jump down here, though. Not down there, though. Sorry, chocobos. Not there, either. Boy, I'm hitting all the invisible walls today. That's it! How it wraps up some of the NPCs. Yeah, me too. It's really good. We're going to just mainline it tonight. We'll do some side quests on the next stream, but, um, yeah. Does it bother you that we haven't heard a single human sound? Everything about this place bothers me. Yeah. Don't get surrounded. Cause you know we got bad blood Hey Here's the name of the quest. I was just singing it. Come before the storm. There's only one way into that city. Hmm. Across the bridge. Through the main gate. Right into the midst of whatever is left of the Lake King's army. Prof Eras. Are you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Hmm. Yes, Joshua. Let us go. Doesn't this last act kind of feel like Revelation, the end of the world and everything? Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of does. Um, potions! Thank you, lady. It does feel like that. And again, this is um, such a great analogy to... Um, to some of the... Um, the stuff that we've been talking about. Um, no, it's fine. We just died a lot. No, no offense. <laughs> I'm just playing. We're getting potions now. It's all good. Hello, Karen. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Sure is. Let's stock up. Yeah, we are definitely stocking up. Don't you worry about that. You're rubbing These me blind, guys. You know. These guys. Maybe some stone skins. It's better I'll be here. I don't need that. One. Come again. I will. Well, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. What do I owe the honor? I don't know, but we're gonna use the forge. Same forge, India. Make an ever dark. Bad. If I do say so myself. And. Hmm. And apparently that is it. <laughs> oh, I need lots of other things. I see. I see. An ultima weapon. So I need the Everdark Reforged. Interesting. Come again, and or don't. Doesn't bother me none. Okay, there's lots of things that we can do, but no. Um, why don't we go into our traditional outfits, because I feel like we're about to do some big story stuff. I know we're going to do some big story stuff, so. And I'm a bit of a purist, so, uh, boom, 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 boom. You can stay armored, Ambrosia. I am going for the ultimate weapon this run, but, um, uh, not tonight. Yeah. Alright, back to... This awful land. Okay. 
So, Racy, uh, are you the only one in chat that hasn't experienced all of this? Oh, crap. I've totally missed. Because this is pretty good stuff that we're about to hit here. This has got to be one of the more wholesome streams you've seen. Oh, you're welcome. We try to be wholesome around here. There's a lot, there's a lot of crap in the world. We got to be happy, you know? Got to have some energy. I'm certain I am. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, I guarantee you're not the only one that's going to get some of the stuff that we're getting tonight for the first time. Are you a fan of ambrosia, the food? Like the herb? Or is that too... I mean, it's, if it's in something, I wouldn't even know. But Okay. Enough. Enough of me. Let's do this. Is it? That's gross. What the hell happened here? I dare not think. A stroke of good fortune, perhaps? It's a jello salad? That's gross. I'm not into it. I hope you're right. Roxy Valentine spouting some truth. Fruit sec fruit cocktail marshmallow banana walnuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I hate everything that you just said. I mean, individually, all of those things are delicious. Okay, everybody. This next part, I'm going to put my serious face on because this is for real. This is like big stuff. We're going to Drake's spine. This is the last Mother Crystal. We've got some big, big, big revelations to do right here. And also, this music is a freaking banger. So... Let's respect the vibes. I need a t-shirt that says respect the vibes. Ah. The ether has claimed the moon. Let's see the way on next. It's the dish of the gods. Yeah, if the gods, like, the gods don't have to worry about calories. So they can eat all the marshmallows that they want. Oh, you jerk. Gods don't have to worry about cowards. <laughs> I told you, this, this is a good stream tonight. We got some banger quotes. Uh, again, respect the vibes. I'm gonna be serious. <sighs> Here we go. There it is. Old Drake's spine. It's bulk season, baby. You are right, but also, if you're not careful, bulk becomes out of control. Gotta build that Clive chest. Bro, I did some binge press today. It was so good. Actively respecting the vibes. Here we go! Yes! I'm so excited for this. Fun little side content about the old behemoth. The behemoth is one of the monsters of chaos that is unleashed at creation, um, including Leviathan and behemoth. Uh, Leviathan is the behemoth or chaos of the sea, and the behemoth is the chaos of the land. These are really, really incredible um, references here. This is also the moment before great revelations begin to happen. So it makes sense. It makes sense that the behemoth may be guarding the divine here. Um, as this uh, this this major source of chaos just before things become a little bit more clear. So here we go. Prepare to struggle. Be mad enough to tame such a beast. First death in your run, yeah.
He's a pretty tough one. I'm sure we'll struggle big time on this one. Yeah, Bahamut comes from the uh, Arabic corruption of the word. Um, it's a giant fish that uh, carries the world on its back, pretty much. Really interesting stuff. Here it comes. I've brought this upon myself. Yes. All right, let's do it. Let's go! Oh, ow, good first hit. Um, fun little Prof Noctis uh, fun fact. When I was a uh, kid and I was learning how to read, my father pronounced Behemoth Behemoth and Bahamut Behemoth, and that is how I uh, referred to it for years. When I was in first or second grade, or at least that might be the way that I pronounced it. Maybe I blamed it on my dad, but still, for years I've said it that way. This is a great song. Heal, heal! does make permanent. That's a good phrase, Racy. That's a good phrase. Good lesson tonight. Don't let him do it to ya! Heck yeah. Well, that was a terrible choice. Hit him. Hit him fast and hard. Oh, gosh. Okay, good hits, Clive, good hits. Oh wow, that that could have been better. Yeah, there we go. We'll save that for a second. Yeah, there we go. Let's freaking go. I think I got some blood my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems to be the case. Oh, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Big hits, big hits. Hit him again. Hit him again. <laughs> oh no 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 Oh no 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 Joshua Come on, Joshua. 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 Oh, crap. Desperate times. Call for desperate measures. Trust me. Oh. Remember. This is rad. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Cinematic clash. That's what I'm talking about. This is good.
It's so good. They're brothers, bruh. Let's go, let's go! Also, just the music in the background, we vibing. Alright, die, behemoth. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Let's go. Such an anime moment. Gotta get over there! There we go. Just get to the lightning! There we go. Do not! Oh, man. Crap. There we go. Oh, man. I forgot about the back trap. Yeah, ever since Cecil and Golbez, man. They know how to do brothers. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Clive and Joshua have this, like, beautiful bond, right? It's cool. And that's a bond that we're going to talk about tonight, uh, actually, at the end of the stream. So, get excited for that. Meteor being a one-hit, yeah, I agree. Yeah, if you're not ready for that, it's brutal. Let's go! Oh no. This part is kind of insane. No. Dodge this. There we go. There are a few things happening on screen. Ouch. That almost got me. That could have gotten me. Get out of that. Heal, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is happening in this fight? Good lord. Okay, we can't even see anything anymore. Clive's not even on the screen. No! Dodge, dodge, dodge! Cancel out of that! Oh, back that up! Hate that! Dodge that! Dodge better! Whoo! Uh, come on now! Let's go, let's go, come on!
Come on. Come on! I don't know what's happening! <laughs> that should not have happened. That should not have happened. That should not have happened. I should have been dead. But we did it, you guys, together. I have no idea. <laughs> wow. Okay, so flawless behemoth shackle. This is important. While it certainly hasn't stopped kings and emperors throughout history from trying, every attempt to tame behemoths has invariably ended in tragic failure. Or rather, it had until the kingdom of Walud discovered a means to influence the beast's primitive mind in the form of an enchanted shackle that presumably works similarly to crystal fetters, but without impeding ethereal channeling. Mm. Mm. Man. He blew his own face up, making me the victor. He sure did. We did it, Joe. We did it. Chaos. There's only one game in a uh, series that I thought the writing was subpar when it came to a square game. 13? Aw, oh, man. But most of the characterization, character growth. I love a lot of the protagonists in 13, I'll say. But, okay. Big moments. Let's go. Also, I love this dungeon. It's so good. Chef's kiss. We drink my coffee from my tankard. Quickly. Before we cut off for good. That was a great fight, you guys. First try, too. Can't say that every time. Yeah, it is some it's dude. Like the, others, the entrance to the inner sanctum will be at the foot of the crystal. We're almost there. We are, Yashua. You got some blood on you. Got some red on you. Alright, this banger song again. I love it. Nah, <laughs> you got that lady? Yeah. You got red on you. Not everybody's gonna get that reference, but you, lady, yeah. Just set you right there. Where are my bad guys? They're all up there. Great. You know what? Let's just end them like this. Sometimes you're cultured. Shaun of the Dead. A great cultural moment for us all. Okay, come on. My original goal was to do a bunch of side quests tonight, but with it being a short stream, um, because I had to start late because of those meetings, I felt like it was important to just get on with it. So, we'll do some side quests next time. Unfortunately, a crap ton of them will open up next time, so... Ah, devastating. Oh. Boy, I'm going to go everywhere except the way I'm supposed to go. L3 to dog, remember? He'll point us in the right direction. How do we get through that? The other way. This gate here is open. Joshua. For the love, Joshua. Oh my gosh, way down there. I'm going all different ways but the right one. Joshua backseating Rossfield. Yeah, he is. Joshua, I'll figure it out myself. It's like freaking Atreus in uh in God of War Ragnarok. I missed an item. It could have been a potion. I'm getting cocky. Like Fast Runner John. Did 
Do you like this behemoth fight better than 15s? I like it differently. This one's more challenging, but the other one has a really cool story element to it. When we get to Final Fantasy 15 in the spring, oh man, y'all are going to love that behemoth fight. You're going to love it because of the uh, importance of it to Noctis' story. Oh my gosh. Massive importance. This John shade tonight. <laughs> Who knew that Moses and the Apostle John would play such a pivotal role tonight? I come into these streams knowing the main lectures that I'm going to give, but I, the side stories, the side quests are all just like, they're so surprising. Oh, I'm surrounded. God, that was a cocky thing to do. That was a cocky thing to do. Get cornered and then just level them. Oh my gosh. That's the most Chad move ever, Clive. <laughs> oh no, I'm surrounded. Boom. Let's go, baby. Yeah, well. Looks like I haven't missed nearly as much as you thought. Hey, what's up, Dot Potatoes? I'm so glad that you are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It worked and paid off brilliantly, and it looked freaking cool, right? That's what we're about. We're trying to look cool tonight. Ooh, ooh, things are happening. Prof, if you want to try something neat, down thrust with a special attack. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay, okay. Let's try it. Oh, that was cool! I've never done that before. He like does a sonic homing attack. Oh, okay, let me get on a... Can I like get up here and do it? Oh, that is rad. I love that. Can I do it all the way down these stairs? Think I can make this jump? Watch this, Joshua. This is just like brothers. Watch this, Joshua. <laughs> How cool was that? That was amazing. Let's see if we can get a good side view of this. This is professional Noctis in action. You ready for this? Ah, oh, crap. It keeps going away. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, that's a regular track. Uh, Square and X. Okay. Is this also going to blow my mind? Okay. Oh, that's cool. Occasionally I've seen that, but I didn't know how it worked. Oh my gosh, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Let's go. Um, that looks like a gate. Is that the gate? Yes, that is the gate. Well, Hoven, thanks for joining in the professional Noctis, because I'm going to make you a professional. That is a Devil May Cry attack. You right, Roxy. Ha 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 ha! That was cool. Oh, get off me, get off me. I'm trying to be cool. Woo, that was, that was pain. Oh, no, not this guy. Oh, no. Look out, Dante. There's a new hunter in town. What's up? Thank you for the sub, Fifty Shades. How you doing? It is great to see you tonight. Mmm. Mmm. There you go. There you go. Right into my trap, you big dummy. Some of the things that I say out of context are golden. 
this game has insanely deep combat. Yeah, it does not really demand the player at all times to know all of it, but it really is like, that's where the RPG customizability comes in. You don't have to play all of these things, um, all of these things, but the options are there and that's what I love. Uh, 50 Shades, oh yeah, Roll Tide, heck yeah. That game was insane, Fifty Shades. That was absolutely insane. I hope that the uh, SEC Championship against um, Georgia is also going to be insane like that, but in a good way, right? I should get paid for coining professional Noctis. <laughs> I'm trying to look cool. Come on, guys. Man, that was so great. That felt good, guys. Look at that ship. I feel like we've really come a long way, you guys. Remember the early streams? When the internet went out every five minutes? Oh, there's all sleep, sleep near. Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be easy targets. Yeah, we will. Then we better move quickly. Let's go step on that bridge, Joshua. Is this the right way? I think it is. Okay. Woo! Gosh, this is so good. Everyone pray there was just internet stutter on his. What? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see it. Ain't no getting off this train we're on. That's what Barrett says. Gosh, I love this song. If you need a good workout song, this is a pretty hype one. Oh no. Well, this is gonna suck. Oh no, you don't. Oh, get out of that. Get out of that. Step into my web over here. That's right. Mm hmm. Mill throw and bond. Oh, good. We're we're really hoping that that's gonna work then. Yeah, what are we calling that final throw of the Bama game? Is it the Mill Row mil Miracle? Is it Nightmare on the Plains? I've heard a lot of different ones. So I don't know what we're calling it. Everybody, if you're not a uh, football fan, my team of choice. The school that I work for, the University of Alabama, pulled out an amazing win over a nobody team in Auburn. Um, and uh, it was much closer than it had any right to be, but whatever, it is what it is. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Slow. I needed that. You jerk. Ugh. We got him. Those guys usually give me a much harder time. Okay, do we go through this door? As a SoCal partial to the Trojans? Hey, that's okay. 
Support your school. I don't see any other way. I don't see any other way either, Joshua. But we're gonna make it somehow. Torgal, do you want to guide me? I've heard the this way. Thank you, Torgal. Milro, Mil prayer in Jordan Hare, grave digger. The grave digger. I haven't heard that one. That's new to me. The will of light. Accepting Noctis. That is accepting Noctis. Professional acceptor. Okay, well, I guess we're going up here. Sorry, thank you, Torgal, for pointing your nose in the right direction. This is where we restock. Apparently with Gil and Warite and Magic Bash. Gravedigger is the name of the play? Huh. Oh, it's these guys. God, I love this song so much. I know I keep saying it, but... When it kicks into that battle theme, oh my gosh. It's just like my heart. My heart cannot take. Okay, anybody else? I feel like there's another. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's more of them. You didn't go there, you're just a fan, because your dad's a fan. I got you. Baseball, nice. Okay. Do you uh, do college baseball more, or are you more like MLB? What's your favorite? Oh no, it's a curl. Kitty, kitty. Man, that lightning will of the Wikes combo, I have used that since day one and it has never let me down. I love it. I love it. Massive, massive damage, massive stagger. It's like a cheat code for stagger gauge. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's so good. Bill's games with your brother? Nice. Braves, yeah. Casual Reds fan? Okay. So I, I say that I'm a Braves fan. I, I like the Braves a lot. The bigger issue that I have is baseball because it is a very boring sport to watch a lot of times. Ooh, don't let him do it to ya. Torgal, attack. Banana slugs. <laughs> the Savannah bananas. We love the Savannah bananas. Let darkness fall. Let darkness fall. Golf and tennis are the boring sports to you? Yeah. We're just throwing everything at this guy. Mm. And it is paying off. We just destroyed that cat. Take that. Which is good, because we're about to get to the big moments here. Point to me in the right direction, Togo. Poor kitty just wanted to die. Aggressive Noctis. <laughs> Who 
Hello. Okay, this way, Togo. This way, Yashua. Um. Oh, another thing. That bird. Stream can be too cozy when laying down in bed nearly passed out. Wake it up, Karuai. It's no time for sleeping. It's time for luring. No mistakes. Sorry, I'm a dog person. Be awesome if they didn't teleport. Here we go. Get him, get him, get him. Let's go. Love this song. This song just gets me so hyped. Ugh, love it. Hmm. 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 Do not bite. Do not bite at me. Oh, let's use our new attack. Ah, there it was. How cool was that? Let's get him again. Need to look into Ben Star and Cameo. Yeah. Only to find out that his dog actually belongs to his girlfriend. Mm. Magical Frost Wolf. Nightmare spawn of Pac Man and a Beholder. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Big agree. Togo, which way do I go again? Not this way. Oh, it's the one way that I can go. Okay, don't miss the potions. Except it's magic dash. We love magic dash. Can't ever have too much of magic dash, I always say. This is the way to do it, you guys. Oh my gosh. If you don't use Will of the Wikes and Lightning Rod, what are you even doing? Like, it is just non-stop DPS. And stagger killer, baby. We love it. Oh, you thought you would be the one, huh? What about you, Mesmerizer? What you got, son? What you got? Ah. That was mesmerizing, all right. Let's go, let's go. Oh gosh, it's a cannon guy. The bane of my existence. This is my Achilles. This is my freaking Achilles. I hate this guy so much. Okay, so let's think about our lives. I feel like we're okay. Like, I hate him so much. But uh, where's he running? Where's he running off to? Let's just focus on Cannon Boy. Let's hit him with a lightning rod. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's freeze him. Let's double freeze him. Now let's do one of these. Ooh, he hit me. Oh, but I hit him back. I hit him back. Oh, and now I keep hitting him. That's right. Even orc captains run from cannon boys. We hate cannon boys. We hate cannon boys. I'll say it to anybody. I hate a cannon boy. The lightning rod is OP when you use it right. It is so good. 
I love it. They hate it, and I love it. Oh man, let's go. I don't care about the rest of them. The cannon boys gotta die. That's the only thing. Ah, freaking cannon boy. Don't let him get up like that. If he gets up, then it's problematic. Oh, gosh. There we go. Now hit him, hit him, hit him. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. It's over. Well, that cannon boy will not become a cannon man. Okay, let's get a potion. Nope, bloody hides. Bloody hides. Let's hope this works. Let's hope it works, buddy. What a fancy gate. Fancy gate. Big music. Of course there's more. Of course there's always more. <laughs> Clive and I are the same. Come on over here, you dummy. Okay, fine. Woo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Yeah, it would have been nice to see that, wouldn't it have? Yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah, there we go. Dodge that. Dodge that too. Where are you, dummy? Mm -hmm. This is this is such a banger song too. Gosh, this soundtrack has got to win best music at the Game Awards, right? Oh, it's so good. Oh no! Toggle, get him! Let's go! Big hype! Big hype! I think it is, but I'll be honest, I listen to some of the music, it doesn't have the power that this does. You can stream it on Apple Music and Spotify, and it just does not have it. Not the same way. It's good, don't get me wrong, but... It's got to win. Yeah, it did win this Golden Stick Awards. It did do that. Come on. Ah, oh, it looks so cool. No, not your internet. For once, it's not my internet depriving you of the stream. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. We're not done yet. No, 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 no. It's not coming for you all, is it? I'm not getting any notifications that it's going down. Oh, maybe you just mean that it, Comcast gave up on me, so it's coming for you? Okay, fair. This part of the song 
jacks me every time. I love it. Such a hype song. Gosh. Ah. Oh gosh, there's so many of them. Let's build him up here. That hurt. That also hurt. Big heals. Ah, oh, man. Okay, 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 come on. Big damage here. We need it, we need it, we need it. No crap, that's not what I wanted to do. But that is, I guess, okay for now. Hiya! Yeah, everybody that plays it loves it, so. Back it up, back it up, back it up! Woo! Oh, I can? I don't think I knew that. We're throwing everything at him. Dodge! Oh, ho! Let's go! Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up! Nice try. Yeah, Joshua, get in the fight. Get in the fight. Where you been, buddy? Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Not even going to judge you for that. Mm, mm, mm. That's what we're talking about. And is it a level up? No, I see a sliver. I see a sliver. Oh, good. A sharp fang, seal silk, and more magic dash. We love it. Uh, you went brain dead for a sec? I went, okay, well, I'm glad to have brought you back. Because guess what, everybody? We've got major story stuff coming here. And this is, y'all, 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 y'all. This is the moment that I was like, I'm going to do a Final Fantasy 16 lecture play. That is what's going to happen here. So, get excited. Don't get too comfortable. I don't want you falling asleep, Karui. Talking to you. But we're, we're in for it. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Let's go.
There's no end to them. The whole bloody army's here. <laughs> we love Kurai. We Stand love back, Kurai. Joshua. I'm summoning a freight. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd okay. rather die? Chill. My dude. And Gav. She's not alone. Such friendship. Notice my Dion picture right behind me, as well as his spear. <laughs> Surprised to see us. How did you? Gav. He told us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. Mm. And when we saw the heavens come crashing down, we had no choice but to believe him. <laughs> it's been quite a day. <laughs> so what do we owe this honor? Mm. A debt I would see repaid. Prince Dion. No, he is not. Um, Hoven. To see you well. Technically, technically, I would say so, Ferris from Five is. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Listen to your heart. It will guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. Thank you. For everything, Your Highness. Dion, please. Hmm. You do realize the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? You know, if your lord and ladyship's uh, quite finished. Yeah. Fang well, and Vanille, Roxy, yeah. We have work to do. That's right. Like buy potions. Unfortunately, our little pack mule is here. Hey, Goots. The sun supposes how I can say to make you change your mind. So I'll just tell you to stay It's safe. such a hype kind of moment customer, when they all come in, have to let right? Carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. And we wouldn't want to anger old Nan. You mean? You'll buy some offers. Mm-hmm. I've got some good stuff for you. Defender. Okay. Well, maybe. The first potions. I don't. Here you go. Is there how else you need? I don't need that though. I don't really need Defender plus three. Uh oh. I'm running out of space on this PC, it says. Oh, that's why the thing fell apart earlier. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me, uh, let me take care of something real quick. Because I don't want y'all to fall into oblivion. Sorry, real quick. Let me do this. It was my PC. Yeah, I'm having a saving error. Sorry about it. Oh, that's why I've got all of these guys. Let me just press delete on these guys real quick. And no, it's still Comcast. Exactly. We will blame them till the end. Oh, 
Okay, sorry about this. Just real quick. Oh! There's a notification that we love to hear. Okay, that that may buy us some time before I can clean up my PC. Sorry about it, everybody. Professional, remember, professional. Not this. else I can do for you? So I can't. Uh, I have to buy that sword. That's more Anything powerful. Anything else I can make for you? I don't know, man. Can you? Is all done then? No. No, it's not. It's like actually one of the biggest. Um, Let me show you me wares. Is there out else you need? <laughs> out else I can do for Can you? I reinforce it? No. You don't want me to make okay, it out Okay, we're fine. Alright, so let's talk to everybody like Torgal. I couldn't have made it this far without you, Torgal. It's almost like something important is about to happen. As we say goodbye to everyone. Each parting brings the hope of reunion. I missed you, Clive. I missed you too. Yeah, they're comparable to Spectrum. Dion? There is still much I would learn of your tale. Once this day is done. Same, Until Dion. Then, all who might come between me and such knowledge shall answer to my spear. To Dion. I do not envy them. And here we go. Okay, everybody. So this is the sequence that sold me on this game. In fact, I screamed at the end of it because it was something that I predicted. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, amazing stuff. So here we go. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. Mm. At once. We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream, our dream, is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall. Together. Together. I'll tell you. We all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. I... Another behemoth. It seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. Mm. We will stay them. Go. Just don't keep us waiting. He's so cool. Thank you. He's so cool. He's so cool. I'm going to pull out his spear at the end of the stream. Gosh, it's so good. There he is. It is, Michael. Okay, so the title of this lecture stream is called The Muthos of Ultima, and this is where we talk. In the same way that we've talked about dominance and icons representing attributes of the divine, that's how I want us to think about Ultima as well. This is going to be really important. Joshua! Joshua! 
Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This mm. isn't stone here. Well deduced. Welcome to our darkness. This is my favorite part of the whole game. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. Mm. All of them. Okay. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. Hmm. Respect the vibes. Interdimensional Rift, also a um, reference to Final Fantasy V there. I get the lore stuff is great, just annoying on repeat arcade playthroughs. Yeah, this music is amazing. This is when the game, like it felt like Final Fantasy. This is when I was like, this is a Final Fantasy game. Yeah, it's called Bow. It's powerful. So I want you to notice the ruined city above. Um, the ruined architecture. It's incredibly Greco-Roman style um, in the columns. Something to that, of course. I've already heard Muthos, several Greek words throughout the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great point, Karuai. So let's kind of look at these ruins. And uh, because the music is about to start playing the lyrics... I'm going to um, pull up the lyrics to the word, uh, the this song. Here's what the uh, lyrics say. Um, I'm not going to go to the trouble of putting them on the screen because that could be like 10 minutes <laughs> with my ability. Here's what it says, and you'll hear it in the choir. Fallen angels wayward strayed fall on your knees. In needless pain, unpenitent, penitentially. Oh, you can hear it here. Fallen angels, wayward strayed, fall on your knees. In needless pain, unpenitent, penitentially. In silence, baying disarrayed, bow your head. By heaven forsaken, bowed and broken. Shame-filled faces, bow down, fame disgraced. Beg of me, this infamy is unforgiven. Your pardon. I would suggest, actually, that you go to Google and you look up these lyrics. Tell me your thoughts on these lyrics. I think they're pretty cool. Um, especially given some of the things that we're about to find out. So with that kind of thought, uh, Ultima's just said, your sins, I'm about to make you, them known to you. The foreground architecture is very Greco-Roman, but that background arch dome is much more reminiscent of post-Renaissance Eastern Gothic. Yeah, yeah, great. If you are to comprehend yes. the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. It's the perspective of humanity, the yes. Was still young. Okay, this is important. Let's watch. We visited upon it a miracle, magic. And in its light did all life flourish. Yes, some dude, yes. Do it. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. A poor, 
descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. Mm. Amazing, amazing things that are being picked up here. It's so good. If it was magic that caused the blight, what of the mother crystals? I expect he'll tell us soon enough. So, what Ultima is describing here, this is this is great stuff. What Ultima is describing here is a creation story. It's the creation of magic. It's the creation of the world and the falling of the world. Now, this is just classically important in the um, the Genesis narrative of the uh, Jewish and Christian texts, right? In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, you get this very large-scale cosmic creation story, and it oftentimes, oftentimes uses this language of God saw that it was good, God saw these things. But when God speaks, this is really important, when God makes humanity, God uses this language saying, let us make man in our image, in our image, male and female will create them. So um, let us make man in our image. Notice this plural intonation. Now this comes from some of the ancient Near Eastern texts where there's a pantheon of gods. And what's interesting here is Ultima, here depicted as a singular entity, is using what? Plural first person pronouns. He's saying we did this, our, us. Very, very important. So pay attention to the pronouns when he shifts to first person singular and when he goes first person plural. Let's keep going. see these kind of remnants, these almost ghosts, shards that are still kind of floating about here. Such a haunting scene. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of mm. our fleshly bodies, and so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution. The illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate. To start afresh. With a new world. The one for which Barnabas labored. Paradise free from the blight where his God awaits. And where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. Mm. So, Ultima will have us follow in the footsteps of the king. Hmm. Follow, we shall. For now. All right, you're seeing this. The um, these these Ultima. This Ultima has been searching for a place of escape, of salvation for self, a preservation of the self. It's a really big topic in a lot of um, ancient Near Eastern 
um, religions. This idea of the self-preservation of the gods and humans are a simple tool um, in, in that cause. Oh, gosh. Again, uh, I forget who it was. Maybe Potato said uh, the Gothic architecture of the arcs, uh, of the arches. Stuff, I think you're exactly right. It's meant to evoke some religious symbolism and iconography here. To forge a new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough mm. to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos. All that mm. you might one day blossom. That's good, Duarte. And That's our good. future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, mm. man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource. And the land, she wept tears of black. Hmm. You would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind. Just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we are one and the same. Yeah, I see in the chat there's a lot of conversation. Tree of Knowledge, Garden of Eden, and that's exactly right. I mean, this is reminiscent of not just one particular creation and fall narrative, but uh, it kind of encompasses all of them, which if you haven't picked up on this in these streams, this is what this game is about. It is the encompassing of all of the mythos, of all the myths, of all the religions, of all the stories that, that cater to the divine. And I think I uh, love that you, you added this, Kuruai, alone in a world bereft of his God's radiance. Why? So it is this idea in those moments when God is distant, when God's eye is, is elsewhere, or when God is not... Um, fully present in the flesh, right? Humanity seeks to make their own light. They kindle their own flame um, because they do sense that they are alone in a world bereft of their God's radiance. Man committed their greatest sin. They awoke. And so this is that um, distinction, that departure, that um, separation from the divine. And in, in some way, each of these icons and dominance each of these icons and dominance convey a, a story of the divine, of the ultima or the ultimas, right? It's these different stories that don't tell the whole story of God, but contribute to a part of it. And therefore, it's really interesting and impressive that they made Clive Muthos, which is this vessel that encompasses and embodies not one of those stories, but all of them. And so this particular Ultima, who seems to be responsible for the, 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 
uh, development of this world as we know it with magic and mother crystals and all of this, this particular Ultima seems to be um, conveying a very specific attribute that we'll talk about. And here with Clive, he is the vessel that Ultima wants to embody um, fully. Roxy, I can't help but also draw parallels to Bahamut and his own motives in 15, especially if you read the Dawn of the Future book. I, yeah, uh, our 15 streams will start in the spring, and I've got a lot to say about that uh, for, for sure. A um, uh, lot of ancient myths about man seeking forbidden knowledge being punished for it. Yeah, that's, that's a major thing in a lot of these ancient religions about the gods seeking self-preservation and humanity are simple simple tools or resources to use let's continue because we're not done yet <clears throat> i think it's also interesting that these stories these attributes these mother crystals that are placed there by ultima as a kind of bastion or siphon of of resources um as conduits for magic and to to kind of what's the word to to channel the power of the gods these things are in many ways their undoing um the undoing of the planet in protection of the mother crystals wars have been waged brothers have been betrayed by one another and it's all in the name of these perspectives of religion again this is a key philosophy of religion stuff and again remember the jewel that i talked about at the beginning turning slightly to see the refraction of light Lilith wanting her to be equal to Adam is another knowledge. Yeah, that's a great one, Roxy. Great, great, great. Oh, what's left of him? Oh, man. Yeah, Karuai. Great stuff. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Yeah. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. What you must become. Arisea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you. As your own mother should have. Mm. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. This is what does he mean by fully grown? That's that's great stuff. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. Hmm. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Again, a self-interested deity here. Is this truly here. so difficult to comprehend? Kind of a crazy burn, yeah. Only ever require you, T. Gray, Jesus, absolutely. When the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. Oh man, we only ever required you. None Jesus. shall follow. None shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Hmm. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! Hmm. What? That is where you are mistaken. You are nothing but your precious will. Brother. I 
can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. <laughs> now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. Oh gosh. Ooh. So yeah, y'all are killing it in the chat tonight. Absolutely killing it. Great stuff. Good discussion in a moment. Yeah, definitely a classic example of a Gnostic Demiurge figure. Um, which is, you know, I mean, when we're talking about if he is the dominant or of dominance or the icon of icons in many ways as the creator right then we've got to talk about his own attribute my argument for his divine attribute would be that attribute of creation right um he is the creator god um the one that kind of began this i would uh, in the uh, abrahamic tradition i would argue that he's the genesis 1 through 11 depiction of god um with a little bit of compassionate glaze written over him um big words i need some more education on this um hey listen yeah these are these are tough things essentially the gnostic demiurge is this idea of the um almost like an ambivalent creator oh my gosh chat i'll answer your questions in a minute <laughs> That's more of a Diaz sort of thing, but yeah, I'll, I'll give me a second and I'll uh, kind of share with it a little bit. It's almost a, yeah, hang on. There we go. Mm. Man, this is insanity right now so freaking much happening okay ha! <laughs> beat up god then talk about him yeah that is the way of a final fantasy is it not Mm. Only with heads harm low is penance paid. 
Oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. In fitting season. Oh, gosh, that hurt. That also hurt. Yeah, it does. That's good. Oh, okay. To me, flames. To me, flames. Here he knocked us, baby. Also, great use of the original Final Fantasy theme. Here we go. That's not necessarily a bad um, definition, but I would also attribute there are some divine attributes to it. Um, it's just a question of, um, is this one the highest power or not? Um, oh gosh. Yeah, like a spiritual version of that. I, I don't hate that definition. You're a fine hound. You're a fine hound. Oh. Gifted this chance. And still you would raise your hand against the Lord. What now? It's a great song, too. He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender. Ooh! That was uh, a bit much. Oh my gosh, that was a ridiculous attack. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. Hmm. Very appropriate, yeah. We're just throwing everything at the guy. Trying to heal. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him! Oh, man, that was close. So many owl moments, yeah. crazy. The arena looks like hell at the moment that God decides to punish you. Yeah. And again, I mean, we are seeing here, he's using 
so many of the different attributes that we've already seen. We've got ice, we've got darkness, we've got light, and then we've got um, some of the Ifrit stuff with Wrath. I mean, you're, you're seeing he is the embodiment of all of these to a degree, but his power is limited compared to what he has created Clive to be, who is his perfect vessel. Oh boy. Hey yo. Yeah, let's go. The cosmic gravity powers are a little much, aren't they? All right, all right, all right, all right. Crap! Oh, do it. Don't do it, don't do it! We are not gonna let him do this to us. Woo! Conjugate, I, yeah, kind of similar to that, yeah. And I think there's a good reason for that, where he kind of comes across as that. Oh boy, there's a lot happening. him. Not my god. And a level up at that. Hot. Yeah, we got some stuff to talk about. Thank you, lady. That was a that could have been a really challenging one. Pull of darkness, good. Of course we got the teeth and the ash. Does it? You strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Hmm. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. In this conformity, he still has this will that is his own, and Ultima wants to break it. <clears throat> hmm. It's a good one. C. 
acid. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... These are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring, all they will ever bring, is death? There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Somebody save me. Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps mm. under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Hmm. Just go away. Hmm. This is the part, it's not a major thing, but it is to me. Oh gosh. Come. Remember who you are. Clive. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the Phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. 
sir. Hey, thanks for the sub, Admiral. Unless. Unless. Watch this. He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Mm. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Still talking. Ah, here we go, you guys. So good. This is the part. Logos. When he said Logos, I screamed. I'll tell you why in a minute. From here, Logos does arise. goodness again that's why this is my favorite part of this game because it's just like rich Damn it, Clay. Wake up. yes that's... That's... <laughs> sorry to wake you I think it may be time to leave this place. And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit. You fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power... Origin, open. yeah. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos. Soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. Yeah.
Okay. Mm. We'll get through these cutscenes, do a wrap up, and then we'll call it a night, you guys. Bloody crystals cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. It does. It does. Is that ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! <laughs> Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving. Now! Yeesh. Everyone, fall back to the ship. Run. I will be with you and not. Thank you. Uh, love Dion. The best. Time to flippy. Make that back flippy to the shippy. Boy, that's a great place to stop, right? So let's let's chat for a second then we'll get to it you think dion is your least favorite in the series oh man i love dion he's my favorite um i love him so much so um this is origin everybody it looks like a gigantic mother crystal but it is the encasement of uh ultima so we'll learn more about origin next uh in, in the upcoming streams but here's what i'll say everybody um so we are uh, we are now at the, the apex, uh, the kind of the climax of this game. There is one dungeon left or one one encounter left, one quest. Um, but that doesn't mean we don't have a lot of side quests. And our next our next stream is going to be all the side quests. They're big ones, too. Um, and uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna get into it. Here's what I want to close with. We talked about Muthos and Logos tonight. We had a great discussion tonight and you guys knocked it out of the park um ultima is the kind of the embodiment of a very particular perspective or attribute of the divine um you can call it the demiurge you can call it the um ambivalent creator the self-preservation creator self-preserving god but whatever you call it this is a, a fascinating depiction that is Included even in Abrahamic religions, which I admittedly know know more about that one than than others. But you see it in in a lot of, especially ancient Near Eastern religions. Genesis one through eleven, from the the creation narrative, Garden of Eden, fall story, Noah and the Ark, all the way to the Tower of Babel. This is the story of an archetypal god, um, a god who is a, a part of a pantheon of gods. Um, and I don't mean to like blow people's minds or anything, but Genesis 1 through 11 are not necessarily meant to be taken as what happened, but why it happened. It's not meant to be a how-to science guide. It's meant to be um, a, a, a retelling of some of the most popular ancient Near Eastern creation myths 
that had ever been been told in Babylon, in um, um, uh, from the the um, Mesopotamian cultures. Uh, I think Epic of Gilgamesh, the um, Enuma Elish, and and um, things like that. But what the Jews, the Hebrew people, were trying to do here is they're retelling these stories with a markedly biased sort of glossing and saying, okay, we're, this is what we have accepted as a culture has happened, the flood, the fall, and all this stuff. But this is the way that God was oriented in all of that. So you see traces of compassion where the Epic of Gilgamesh isn't going to talk about that. You see, um, you see conflict within the divine instead of uh, multiple gods fighting for position and power. You see a conflict within God's own self of I am loving, but I'm also wrathful. I've also got to cater to justice, but I also have to do what's right and righteousness. So you have all of these mixed in with these first 11 chapters. Um, uh, Lady Experiment, totally understand. Hey, thanks for checking out the stream. Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be on YouTube, so catch up then. So I, I share all of this for you because Ultima is, is great to, to think about embodying, I would say, to simplify it, this narrative of creation. Now, to kind of give you a foreshadowing, especially for you, Racy, since you've never played this before, Clive is Muthos, right? But here he's also been called something else, and it's when he joins with Joshua into this new being. And it's when Ultima says, oh, this isn't just muthos. This is not just the power of myth, as the Greeks would have described it. This is the power of logos. And the power of logos, this is where we get the word logic from. This is where we get um, practicality. This is where we get the um, direction of the will, the logos. And while many people set up a dichotomy, a, um, a framework that pits these two things together uh, against each other, muthos and logos, the Greeks actually had a different understanding of this. There's muthos, and these are the stories that tell us about existence. Not necessarily a how-to guide, but they, they inform some certain things about us. And the logos is the practicality of it. The muthos informs the logos, and the logos is built upon the muthos. When I teach this to my students in classes, I ask them two questions. Number one, what do you know for sure? And it may be something like, good always wins out. Or it could be something like, uh, a favorite phrase of mine is, the worst thing is never the last thing. It could be anything. It could be something that you find on a piece of driftwood emblazoned at Hobby Lobby or something like that. These are our logos. These are the things that we know for sure. And every one of us has those things. But the follow-up question that I have is, now how do you know that thing for sure? I was in a group setting one time and I asked this question, um, what do you know for sure? And I would hear people say, life is hard. I would hear another person say, things work out in the end. And we went around the table and they all told these stories. But then I said, now how do you know these things? And the person that said that life is hard told us stories of incredible loss, losing loved ones, pain, sicknesses that just were never healed. I asked the, the person who said things work out in the end, and she told us stories of how things worked out for her. She had stories to back up what she knew for sure. And this is the, the simplest way of explaining what a logos is to a muthos. You, the things you know for sure come from stories. Now, when it comes to religion, this is exactly right. The muthos are the formative stories that we take, and, and maybe they're religious, maybe they're not, but from religious traditions particularly, the muthos are all the stories that undergird that logos, the things that you believe. From my own training, this is where we come into some of the, the New Testament models of Jesus, of uh, what's known as the, the Messiah, and ultimately in the book of John, which is a highly Greek-influenced book. Uh, we, it's amazing, we started the stream talking about how John is a fast runner. We end with his, his thing as well. In his gospel, the very first line, I'm actually going to read it to you. It says, in the beginning was in your English translations would say the word, but it's actually in 
the beginning was the Logos. In the beginning was the Logos. And while many people say the Word is, well, that, that obviously references the Bible. It does not reference the Bible. It references the personhood of Jesus. It represents who Jesus is, and it calls him the Logos. So here's what's cool about it. Here's what's cool about it. <clears throat> the people that would be reading, the religious Jews that would be reading the Gospel of John, they know the Muthos. Okay, they know the stories of creation. They know the stories of Moses bringing the law like Barnabas, by the way. They know the stories of how God was a great warrior on the battlefield leading the people like Joshua into battle to conquer cities. They know the stories of God's compassion, but there is a disparate nature to them. And then John comes along and says, you know the Muthos, I'm telling you the Logos, the one that embodies and has made practical these things. This is one of the coolest things I think about the Gospel of John because it makes practical these myths, these religions, uh, these religious stories. Another way of thinking about it is Jesus kind of vivifies this when he says, I have not come to abolish the law or cancel the law, but instead I've come to what? To fulfill the law. In that phrase, he is saying, this is, uh, he is the embodiment. He is the vessel in which all of those stories exist. And he's not only displaying them, but he is fulfilling them in their perfection. Now, this is one of the coolest things about this game, I think. Good night, lady. Uh, experiment. Have a great night. Thank you for hopping in. One of the coolest things about this story here is we have a Clive who is that vessel, that muthos. But he's extracting, absorbing, assimilating all of these myths of control from Garuda slash Benedicta, power from Titan slash Hugo, provision from Sid, love even from Jill. And he's embodying those things, but he's embodying them from particularly imperfect representations of those attributes. Garuda Benedicta has not mastered control. Clive is embodying it now and is seeking to master control in a new way. Same with holiness or law with Barnabas. Same with justice with Dion slash Bahamut. He's housing all of these things. And this was part of Ultima's plan, that there would be a vessel that could house all of the attributes of the divine. And we just learned, and this was really, really crazy in, in this, all of these mother crystals and all of the, that plural Ultima, all of these beings that Ultima is talking about, they are slumbering currently and they each will be housed in the Muthos. This is the idea that Ultima had for saving himself. But the problem is this idea of will, of Logos, of practicality, of I'm going to do my own thing and not be subservient to you. And so this is the idea of the creation that's been spun and it's gone out of control in some ways. And so this Ultima is trying to remedy it the same way that God does with, the, with Noah in, in uh, the middle parts of Genesis, I, th I think, 4 through 6. He's going to destroy the world and kind of force the will to happen, um, his own will to happen. Does that make sense, everybody? So here we've got this conundrum of what happens with Clive, who is both Muthos and alongside Joshua. When you have Joshua, who is, um, uh, we, we know from Harpocrates that Joshua is this incredibly, um, incredibly like uh, a studious uh, scholar, chronicler type person. When his, um, when he, he joins with Clive, this mental side with story side, they become the Logos, which vivifies and displays the power of Mythos. How cool is that? So that is where I'd like to stop tonight. That's a lot. 
for, for all of our brains to kind of think about. But this was the moment when he said Logos. I had been predicting, I, I'd been saying, this is a story about Muthos. This is a story about Muthos. And if there is a Muthos, there is a Logos somewhere in this game. And when Ultima said Logos, I screamed. I dropped the controller. I was like, I freaking called it. And y'all, the ending only vivifies this. Oh my gosh, it only vivifies this thing. And we're going to get to that in two streams. Next stream is going to be all about the uh, the side quests. Uh, Longfall, the harebrained. What's up? First of all, thanks for chatting. Thanks for hopping in the chat. Have you talked about the missing icon, Leviathan? Have we talked about that? We have not talked about Leviathan. I'm going to talk briefly about Leviathan next time uh, in, in one of the side quests that we will do. So, it's going to be great. Yeah, it is a lot, but it's awesome. I'm, I'm glad that y'all are excited about it too. This is really, really cool. So again, like this is, I love what this, this game does saying we've got all of these stories, all of these mythos, all these myths that people are willing to die for, right? They're willing to fight for, willing to fight for and all this kind of stuff. Wars are waged over these particular mythos. People are subjugated. People are enslaved because of, because of specific myths. And by this, this particular perspective of that jewel that I talked about at the beginning, they miss the forest for the tree that they're focused on. And so with this, we're trying to figure out where's the equilibrium out? How does Clive bring freedom from these myths that have subjugated while still also elevating these myths to a place of practicality. What's the good side of these religious ideas in discarding the bad? It's a purification of religion. A lot of people would argue that this game is about the downplay of religion. I completely disagree with that. I actually think it's about the uplifting of religion at its actual best. At its actual best. Um, one of the uh, great famed atheists of our day, Richard Dawkins, in his book, The God Delusion, he says, um, he's answering a question from a, uh, from a reader, I guess, an interviewer, <clears throat> who says, you always point out the worst parts of religion, but what about the Dietrich Bonhoeffers, the Karl Barts? What about, um, uh, uh, about, you know, and he lists off a number of others from other traditions as well. He says, you always point out the worst, the Westboro Baptists, who caused a lot of pain in the Crusades. Why not the best? And his response, famed atheist, is telling. He says, If only the world had such nuanced religion and perspectives, the world would indeed be a better place. But instead, we have these. And because of that, this is what we have to fight against. I'm not entirely against him in that way. I'm not against him at all in that way. Um, and I think that that's a really, really powerful statement in the philosophy of religion, especially when it, um, per, as it pertains to Final Fantasy 16. A fair comparison to these wars are akin to crusades? Yeah, absolutely, Roxy. Totally. Absolutely. Um, so I'm going to let you unpack that on your own. On Thursday, we're going to do some side quests and come with some questions about this. How does it all play? How does it change your thinking of Garuda, of Titan, of Bahamut, of all of the other icons that we've seen? And what is it? What do you... Like, we'll get to the ending eventually. That'll be like a 12-hour stream. It's going to be good. Everybody, it's been a blast. This has been so fun. It's been a late one, but it's been a good one. Uh, I hope that it, uh, it's blessed you. I hope that it's encouraged you in some way, helped your Tuesday night. And with that, we are going to call it a night. It was a fun stream, too. A lot to ponder, but it was, it was a funny stream, too. You guys, always the best. Love you guys. Whatever you do this week, be safe. Walk tall. Have a fantastic week. Make sure you follow me on social media. Uh, hit that follow button so that you can hang out more and stuff. Uh, on your point about purification, how it uplifts religion, in a way, Clive brings it about in the most simple and pure way, I think. We'll get there, buddy. We will get there. Yeah, you bet, Jeffrey. Good night, everybody. Have a fantastic, not an organized religion, but just a belief in something greater. Yes. Yeah, love this. Beautiful stuff. Y'all have a great night. Always great being with you. Take care.